everyone, I'm Brenna and this is Kyla and we are information officers at the BC Wildfire Service. We get a lot of questions about campfires, so we thought we'd do a short video and uh, just talk about those campfire specifications. Before you consider having a campfire, you'll want to make sure there's no bans or prohibitions in place. You can check by going to our website, www.bcwildfire.ca or by calling 1-888-3-FOREST. Once you're sure that there's no campfire bans in place, you'll need to stick to a couple rules outlined in the Wildfire Act. This means you need to have at least eight liters of water or a shovel on hand at all times. So make sure you bring those supplies with you when you go to light your campfire. It's important that you test if your campfire is out by making sure the ashes are cool to the touch, as even if you dump water on your fire and it appears to be out, wind can still ignite those embers. All right, so if you show up and you wanna have a campfire, but you're not at a rec site and you're not at a provincial park, so there isn't already a pre-made metal ring, um, you're gonna set up a site. So when you set up a site for a campfire, clear the area of any kind of flammable materials or combustible fuel. And an important thing to note is to uh, dig down to the mineral soil, just because if you are building on a route, that can end up burning out. When we talk about a campfire, what we are talking about is really that size. So that half a meter by half a meter. A good uh, benchmark to use is about the size of your camping cooler. We hope that by watching this video, you can stick to these simple tips to still be able to enjoy your campfires as well as helping to keep BC Forest green and safe. Yeah, and always remember, if you see a wildfire, report a wildfire. Uh, you can call star 5555 from your cell phone and you can also call 1-800-663-5555.